Scott Collier, how are you advising your clients with respect to their fixed income portfolios right now? At this point in time with yields at record lows in the treasury markets, really what you want to do is you want to be careful of the duration or interest rate risk you have. You really want to extend your credit appetite as much as you possibly can because we think that's where the opportunity is. Well, let's go around the horn if you don't mind. Let's start with tips. Are they really fighting inflation right now? Tips offer a, a negative yield into the future. Um, and, and quite frankly, as long as the Fed is active in, in trying to, to uh, operate uh, the twist, essentially buying longer term dated securities, we don't think tips are the place to be. Good idea, it's just the wrong, wrong security. So we're not, we, we don't care for tips at this point. Well, the Fed says they want to keep treasury yields low. Does the market have a vote in this? Well, I think the market would, would like to have a vote, but quite frankly, the Fed's got a bigger balance sheet. They've got all the money they, they can print, and, and I think fighting the Fed is always a bad idea. All right. What about European bonds? Any value over there as Europe implodes? There's certainly value there. The problem is, is trying to dissect where this is going. It certainly appears that Ireland has their situation well under control, and, and they're actually healing. Greeks are having a hard time trying to get their orderly default taken care of, and as we speak, uh, other countries, uh, specifically um, uh, uh, Portugal. Portugal, yes, their yields are rising. They're, they look like they're just approaching a place where they're going to need some help. There's value in the Italian market, there's value in the Spanish market, but there's also huge volatility. So it's not for the faint of heart. So if you want to find yield, what about high yield bonds right here back in the U.S.? Credit exposure is good in the United States. In any recovery, you want to have as much credit exposure as you can. High yield tends to do the best, but lower investment grade paper tends to do well uh, also. Outside of fixed income, what about high yielding stocks or MLPs or maybe some preferreds? What's your view on those? We have been an owner of preferreds for quite some time. In fact, we like bank and finance preferreds and, and, and those have been good returners for us. Um, at, at the end of the day, I think that as, once again, Investors are going to be looking for yield anywhere they can get it. The Fed is actually trying to move assets into risk markets. So therefore, we would favor dividend-producing stocks as well, well as MLPs and preferreds.